We can do the same thing for character styles. So click on character styles, go to options, create new character style, and then style name. Usually we'll go with the basics like the bold. Let's do bold first and then go to basic character formats. So leave everything blank and then just go for font style which is bold and then um, you can again go back to this one later but it's best to leave it everything blank other than the style format as bold and let's add another so go back to new char character style again and let's go with italics So, italics, go back to basic character formats and font style, choose italics or italic and then OK. I think we need to add another one which is bold italic. So, same process new character style again but then um, you know this is where you can add hyperlinks underline words strikeouts but for now I'll just have the three options so And then it's still just the font size or font style. You click OK. So just close the libraries. You can add it to that to your libraries if you want. For now, I'll close it. And then just to have this applied, you need to highlight the text. So let's just have this window uh, moved there you go so just highlight the the text that you want to change the style and apply it so you can go with bold italic just italize and bold so just choose character style that your layout needs as we change the character style you would notice on the control panel the actual settings that that particular text has been applied so for this character styles you can also apply this for your headings that's why we le we left um, the settings blank so it can be applied to headings as well and carried over whenever you decide to change the font so that's how character styles work